Welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur. I'm James and we're doing an exhaust video. Those of you that follow my channel, you guys know that I love a good exhaust video. Especially when it involves sole performance products. And actually I have two, not one, but two different exhaust systems from sole performance here in my garage. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at them and talking about the differences between each. And then we're gonna be listening to the factory sports exhaust system, which is on my car. And it's gonna be replaced by one of these two different exhausts. This is the first in a series of videos where I'm gonna be installing not just the mufflers, but also the cats and the headers and various configurations to see what this car sounds like going from completely stock to completely sole performance and everything in between. It's gonna be super exciting. Let's go check it out. Let's take a look at the X-pipe first. You can see why it's called an X-pipe because that's just how the design looks. The two pipes there at the back and the front kind of come together to make this double X. What I love about these sole products, just on a slight aside, is just how cool the brand looks and how, how you get the sole logo. Um, the valve exhaust uh, has the same. Uh, it comes with all of the mounting hardware. Um, it comes with the sleeves, it comes with all of the bolts, the washers, it comes with some instructions, even comes with a little microfiber uh, cloth, which is useful because once you've finished getting your dirty fingerprints all over this, uh, I mean, it's obviously gonna get dirty once you drive on it, but it's nice to get it on and just clean it up. So for one time, it looks absolutely perfect. Uh, so you can see here, this is where the exhaust tips go, of course, and this is where we're gonna be connecting up um, to the cats. Um, so there's the X-pipe. And then the valve system over here, again, it, it sort of does, the pipes there at the back do kind of meet in an X, but when you look at it from the front, of course, it looks very different. Um, the main difference here being, of course, that this actually comes with the valves. It's called the valve exhaust. Um, around here on the back, well, actually, it's better to look at this one. Um, this is where the vacuum lines um, connect up, I guess. We're gonna find out though. This is the first time I've actually installed these myself. When I had a similar exhaust set up here from Seoul on my 991.1, Porsche Minneapolis uh, did the install for me. And at the time, I didn't have the confidence to do it myself, but they had to run vacuum lines, which I don't have to do this time because my car is already a turbocharged engine and it has the, uh, the valve exhaust system, the PSE. So the, the vacuum lines are already there, which I can reuse. In the 991.1, that wasn't the case. And they also installed the, uh, the, the button for me, the module to turn the valves on and off. Uh, so I already have that. So hopefully it, for my car, it's just a straight swap. But I guess we're gonna find out. Now, let's take a look under the car and see what we're dealing with from a factory perspective. Let's go and take a look at the factory PSE, and then we're gonna go and listen to it out in the wild. So before we go into the car, quick shout out for Midwest Garage Lifts. Those guys over there helped me install this. In fact, they, they actually came over and installed it for me. I was absolutely no help whatsoever. Um, this two post lift, set me back about $3,500 worth every penny, so much more stable and reliable than my scissor lift, which I spent about $1,600 on from the internet and had to install myself. Fully warranted, I'll come and look at it every year to make sure it's fine. Bolted down to the ground. Not only that, it's got shimmies underneath. So my garage, like many garages, has got a very slight gradient so the water drains out. This is actually perfectly level. That's how it's been um, situated on the concrete, thankfully. Um, these arms, very easy here to kick out and pull in and out with your feet, saving you bending down if you don't wanna do that. Um, extendable 
um, posts here or extendable footings that allow you to obviously lift your car. We've got different lengths here as well. If we, uh, for whatever reason, we need to swap them out and get slightly taller ones, they actually kind of sit on top of here and then screw in. Absolutely phenomenal, this system. Uh, comes with a safety. Um, you have to use both of these handles to, to bring it down. I just can't say enough good things about this lift. So massive shout out there to Midwest Garage Lifts. All right, so let's take a look under the car. Um, this ultimately, my pretty shiny sole performance exhaust components over there are gonna look like this, unfortunately, after a couple of months even of use um, with the elements, the water, and so on and so forth. Um, but they can always be cleaned up. They can always be brought back to factory where I've had a go at this on previous cars with WD-40 and they're gonna look like this forever, unfortunately, I think. Anyway, here is the center muffler, which is gonna be replaced by both the X-pipe and the valve exhaust. Up here, you can see that we've got two different, um, two different pipes coming out of the catalytic converter here. And then the cat connects to the headers. I've gotta say Porsche, if anyone from Porsche Design is listening, not that they would ever watch my videos, these headers for the 991.2 are so bloody ugly. They're just, they look like a rotten, moldy pita bread from a night out on the lash. You wake up to in the morning and you got kebab all over your floor. It's never happened to me, never. Um, anyway, there are the headers, there are the cats, and then here to the center muffler. So in the next video, I'm gonna be doing the X-pipe. And I've already taken the before footage of what the uh, factory exhaust sounds like. We're gonna listen to that in a minute. Um, but in the next video, we'll take this off, we'll install the X-pipe, and then we'll do a comparison between factory and X-pipe. And then in another video, we're gonna take the X-pipe off and put the valved exhaust back on. And then we're gonna do a comparison between the three. And then once I've chosen an exhaust or the mufflers, I'm then gonna swap out the cats for sole performance, high flow cats. And I'm then gonna finally swap out the headers, but I'm doing it in stages because a lot of people have asked like kind of how far do you go with an exhaust system? And hopefully this video, or this series of videos is gonna help anyone answer that question. Do you just swap out your muffler? Do you do the cats? Do you do the headers? One, two, three. We're gonna answer those questions together.
So let's take a listen to the factory PSC. And we're going to start, of course, with launch control. Okay, here we go. Oh, I mean, you can't argue about the power. <laughs> That's my tune. But the sound of the exhaust, this factory exhaust, it's still impressive. It's very nice. But we're going to make it sound even better with a little magic from Soul Performance. Now, the question is... The question is, are we going to go X-Pipe or are we going to go Valved? Well guys, thanks for checking in for another video. I am super excited to get these two exhaust systems installed on the car. Like I said, we're gonna be putting a whole bunch of different combinations on. The first couple of videos though, we're just gonna be focused on installing the X-Pipe and seeing what that sounds like with the factory cats and headers, and then swapping out the X-Pipe for the valve exhaust system itself. And I wanna start there and see what the difference is between the X-Pipe and the valve exhaust before I then start building upon that and swapping out the, heck, the cats and the headers. So strap in, this is gonna be a fun ride. Thanks for supporting me as ever. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in another video, another exhaust video soon. Bye.